Hey YouTube, I have a great video for you today and this video might drag across a couple of parts or just one part um, as long as this takes because this took me around two days and um, it is just one of the things that I've just accomplished that makes me feel sick about myself like I just love myself right now because um I did this when I was, I did, I accomplished this quite a long time ago, and, um, I, I didn't do it after that, and I forgot, and I was, like, working, uh, like, trying to do this, and this requires a lot of experience with Unity, and this is my tutorial on advanced artificial intelligence. Okay, so, what I'm going to show you is really cool. So I had this, uh, I was going to, I'm making a game, okay? And what the problem was is that my artificial intelligence had one, has a 180 degree vision. Like I will show you right now. Okay, I'll just zoom out. See, my, my um, AI has a 180 degree vision. But there's a war here so without this new code that i've added this player will try to walk through this wall and get him but he can't literally see him but he still tries to go though which doesn't make sense but um if i play this game you might just be really amazed so Hold on. So I am using Rain AI, which is one of the best artificial intelligence scripting systems. Um, it's not fully in AI, um, Rain, but I did use a bit of code, which you guys sometimes might not like. Okay. So these guys do have animation. This is the Simple People asset, and I paid for this. So um, I'm really happy with this asset. I got all the simple assets okay so the walls here are blocking them but what happens if the wall leaves that's right now they can see the player and they're running towards the player the animations are not perfect yet and they do stop halfway because um i have not coded yet that yet i can make them go closer if that makes you feel better this is what i love literally change that to two and shabam and they're closer now okay so um we won't use simple people rig for now because i don't want to get too much into the animation and also it's most of you might ha have it and look at that so weird i don't even know anymore are they like moving are they moving up? They are. How far out? I I don't actually know anymore. Okay, but um let's let's just leave that in the distant past. Okay, so how did I do this? I'll 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 make a quick rundown, okay? Okay, so if you've never used Rain AI before, it's really really easy you add an ai object to the um object that you want to control with artificial intelligence and then you have your player and you add an entity and then you make a player and everything and then here it detects your player blah 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 okay here's the interesting part if the pl um bot detects your player in 180 degree vision it turns the variable has it seen to true okay and once that's true the code that i have scripted here hold on for a second i'll just pause this take okay so we're back and uh the code that i've scripted is really really simple okay if ha if the um you get the boolean from the Rain AI and if has seen player is equal to true, okay, um, we make a s invisible cube, okay. So if we go here 
and we set the mesh renderer to true we can see this little cube here right yeah this rotates towards the player okay this rotates towards the player and if it does that uh, we can send a ray casting line towards the player and if the ray cast since the cube has rotated towards the player okay if it ray cast towards the player there's a wall blocking it okay if there's a wall blocking it then the ray cast is going to send information about the wall and we are made sure that it does nothing okay if hit dot transform dot tag equals equals to player then can chase equals to true okay and that's all great and we set the animator and makes it run okay so let's 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 do this um that was just the first part and in the next episode we'll learn how to do this sick thing okay so um i did have it so um that they would patrol here i'll just show you this okay so duplicate um why am i using blender controls come on mate you're better than that. Okay, policeman one. This is racist. Police white. Mate. Okay. AI. Okay. And let's go. This is the great thing. I can go patrol object and I can just drag in my waypoint. And in here, I just use patrol object, which is really sick. Okay. Um. No. You your AI wait is the waypoint right yep okay now look at this sick thing okay just okay they're not they don't have a animation right now they're in their idle animation but that's fine they're just patrolling having fun then boom whoops wrong type of boom hold up okay ready for this boom da -da -da -da. okay sick right okay um even if you want you can always change it so they can go back patrolling so can chase equals true copy this go into the else section t copy that but I don't really find this really logical because if you see somebody, you keep chasing them. You don't stop chasing because they ran behind a wall. Okay, so I don't know why would you would do this, but really, there isn't that cool. But they keep running, which is kind of weird. Well, who cares? they've gone mad okay please no um okay couple of bugs <laughs> we're getting there um so in the next episode i will teach you how to make this really cool ai and peace